thanks for your interest in my automated build pipeline series of tutorials using Docker, Jenkins, Azure, Go, and a few other technologies thrown in for good measure. I want to quickly lay out the goals, outcomes, and expectations for these tutorials. I really hate wasting time, so I'll keep this as brief as possible while still trying to give you an overview of what we're trying to accomplish here. The outcomes are user stories. I approach this from two roles. As a build engineer, I don't want to process tickets to create build environments, build jobs, or CI CD pipelines for software teams so that I have time to concentrate on keeping our build environment healthy and have time to research and implement forward thinking solutions for our software teams to utilize. Second, as a software developer, I want to control my own build environments by creating my own build jobs and CI CD pipelines so that I can control the flow of the software I write from my machine all the way through to production without impediments like having to open tickets or rely on other teams. We'll accomplish both of these outcomes, and when we are done, the process will look something like this. The developer creates a Docker image for build environment and uses it locally to write and test code. They add a file to the repository that contains a Jenkins pipeline script. We'll talk about this in detail. It's fairly simple. The dev pushes the image, the Docker image, to the organization's private Docker registry, which we'll set up. The dev then uses a tool, currently a command line tool that I've dubbed DocHand, to create the build job CI CD pipeline, which goes out into Jenkins and Docker and does all the fun stuff to make this happen. So with a simple command line tool, a complete CI CD build pipeline environment process is created. No intervention by a build team or any other infrastructure team is required. The software development team is responsible for everything, except of course, maintaining the infrastructure the process is run on. Pretty cool, yeah? We'll create this entire automated build system step-by-step step from scratch using Docker, Jenkins, Azure, Go, even some Groovy script. Finally, we'll throw in some .NET Core because it runs on Linux as a sample application under development just to mix things up a bit. I tried to make these tutorials as real world as possible. I was really frustrated when seeking out how-tos and tutorials on making automated build systems. They always seemed to be incomplete or missing key pieces that would actually allow the solution to work. I can't tell you how many times I saw or heard, here's how to set up, insert the spiffy new technology here, but that whole security thing is hard, or that whole, whole cloud piece is hard, so we'll leave that up to you to figure out. Well, thanks for nothing. Setting up systems correctly and securely is the hard part, and that's why I was seeking out advice and examples in the first damn place. I will provide both videos and step-by-step -step written blog posts for every piece of this system. I love watching a video to get a concept, but I hate having to scrub through a video to find one small piece of information. I know it's there somewhere, but it's so hard to find. So I'll provide blog posts. You can find that information easily. In addition, I realize individuals learn in different ways, so I want to provide as much coverage as I can about each topic. Currently, I have six installments planned to get this system up and functional, with several more follow-ups to enhance or streamline the system. I also vow to keep the fluff to a minimum. The intro to each video tutorial will remain under 30 seconds. I will avoid using slides, except for this intro, of course. And I'll get to the topic and stay on topic for the entire tutorial. There will be no history lessons here. I'm not going to explain Docker, containers, why containers are great, or why you should be ditching on-prem solutions and utilizing the cloud. I'm not going to debate Azure versus AWS versus Google Cloud Services or any other technology choices. These will be to the point tutorials meant to help you get this automated build system up and running. If you can't tell from my choices, I am pretty technology agnostic and I do plan to expand the series in the future to AWS and tell me what you want to see. Please do understand that I'm not an expert in any technology or concept in this series. I'm learning along the way. As a matter of fact, that's how this all started. I was taking pretty detailed notes as I set up the system and decided I wanted to share that knowledge. I want to learn and get better and hone the system, so in that vein, I welcome comments and all of the code I write for the series will be available on open source on GitHub. I'll welcome PRs, issues, and comments there. So without any further ado, let's get started.